Hello everyone, this is Michael 207 and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask, and we are in the Woodfall Temple, and we just got the bow and arrow at the end of the last episode, and we're gonna use it right away, and hit that eye switch, and that will make that platform raise up and down, and that will kind of essentially give you a sh it will, it will kind of access two things, it will allow you a shortcut back up here in case you fall down there you end up in the bottom part of the room and it will also allow you to get to an inaccessible door over there which I'm about to go to but I'm gonna check get my uh, trusty fairy mask out and check for stray fairies actually we don't have any here okay I'm kinda surprised by that I wasn't expecting that I had a feeling we'd have to get a couple here Maybe I did get some, I just wasn't paying attention. Oh well. So let's go over to that platform, and we're gonna go on across to that door. Let's... Dude! Okay. <laughs> that worked out. I've had uh, some interesting luck with getting on these platforms with flowers on them. If you missed the last episode and you want to see a crazy landing on a flower, then you might want to check that out. Just saying. Oh, wow, we're gonna get our other mini-boss right away. That's actually pretty quick. They usually don't put these, like, really close to Well, I, I, I should say I'm not, I wasn't really expecting them to put these so close to each other, but yeah. Like I was saying, this game has two mini-bosses in each dungeon, as opposed to the usual one that you are used to seeing in more modern games. Usually the 3 ones. But yeah, this one has... A mini boss for the main item, which we did in the last episode, got the bow and arrow. And they also have a mini boss for the boss key, which is what we're gonna get after we beat this guy. This guy, you knock him off his uh, turtle, and then you shoot him <coughs> with your bow. Oh, I mean, you could have got. Ah, uh, I think you can get him again. I'm not sure. And then, yeah, you fight him like you normally would with the turtle. Which is Hit him from underneath from the Deku Flower. Pretty creative way to find those things, really. And then shoot him. Not too hard, really. Though you, you, this this frog guy you do see quite a bit, actually, as, as a mini boss. And he'll use many different methods of fighting you, as we'll see in later dungeons. And this is his method now. And not too bad. Yeah, really the mini bosses in this dungeon aren't that bad, but later on in the game they get pretty tough. I would say the mini bosses are actually harder than the main bosses. So that's pretty interesting. Yeah, especially in the third temple. Oh my god, the third temple and the main bosses are horrible. I hate the main the bosses in the third temple. Uh we get that we get that. That's probably the place. That third temple, the Great Bay Temple, is where I'm gonna die the most. I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm gonna die the most there. Because not only are the mini bosses hard there, but also the main bosses. A, it's a terrible bitch. I'm not looking forward to that. This place is pretty easy. I mean, it's, it's what you would expect from a first dungeon. Straightforward. Um, has its fair share of d difficult puzzles here and there, like that stupid torch sliding puzzle that I died on. But, uh, other than that, this is a pretty straightforward dungeon. And I... I mildly like it. It's, you know, it, it, it works for a first dungeon. It's actually kind of difficult, actually, for a first dungeon. But again, that's kind of... understandable, considering this game only does have four temples. So, yeah, I think this could have... a stray fairy in him. I'm gonna check it. I really don't have to use my bubbles anymore, do I? I don't think there's one there. We probably already got that. I think the hives do respawn. And yeah, this thing's not sparkling. Even though I doubt it, I'm just, I'm just gonna go in there really quick. Yeah, it's awesome. This frog here is something we're not gonna have to worry about at all. But it is something that you can... That I, I, might, I might kind of demonstrate it later, but these frogs are actually important, but we need a certain mass to actually deal with them. And I think you actually would have to fight the mini-boss again, yeah, you would, to actually, like, once you get that mass, you actually 
had to fight the mini boss again to actually talk to those frogs and get something from them. Okay, uh, I have to decide where to go now. I need to get these stray fairies straightened out because I don't feel like I have as many as I should have at this point. Where am I at? Eight still? Did I just. Am I stupid or something? I thought I got at least one. What the fuck? How do I only have eight? There's no way. Well, there's gotta be more in this room, that's right. Yeah, there's definitely more in this room. I'm pretty sure I'm missing quite a bit here, actually. I might have to check back at that block room, too. Um, I'll take care of whatever we have to do here. And then we'll go back to the block room. Actually, we can... Let's, let's just go back now. I don't actually remember what is this way. No, this is this... No, I'm, I'm not going back across there. Forget that. We have a better way of getting there. Yeah, let's just... Uh, do our shit for this room here. I'm pretty sure there are more hives to shoot down. Is that torch we need to light, but there's a special way of lighting it. It's actually like the main function of this room. But I need... That that torch is what I need. That's what I'm looking for. Take this stupid mask off. I hate that mask. It looks so stupid. But, but you know, you're just wearing it so much. There's sometimes you'll find yourself wearing, like, forgetting that you have that mask on and wearing it when you're, like, fighting something. That should have worked. Usually you can lock onto that and shoot through the torch. I guess that's not going to work. No, I don't want to do that, damn it. I think I, I, I think I have Super Mario Sunshine in the mind. That's why I hit Y there to aim. I want to do this. I need to get used to this game. I'm sorry. I suck, I know. I'm, I'm new. I never played Majora's Mask before, alright? I'm new at this game. It's my first time ever playing it, I swear. Damn it, can I please hit that? You, you can't light that torch. I know you can. You're supposed to. There you go. That was a lot more difficult than it needed to be. Now that will purify the water, which is really good. Now we can swim down there. Don't really know like what the purpose of that is. I mean, it's nice to have. If we fall down there, we don't we don't die. But um, you know, I don't really. There's not really a reason for it, but whatever. So we want to get across here, we want to need to use a Danky Flower and just jump it epically. And what we need to do, this can be kind of tricky, is hit that torch with this fire. So, kind of be tricky because we're rotating. I like to aim straight at the torch that we're going for and just wait to shoot. And there you go, first try, not too bad. Now open that door. I'm not quite done. I should just get this to progress. Oh, stupid to jump for that, but I made it anyway. How nice. I believe if I go over <coughs> here, damn it, coughs, and hit the switch, this will unlock a stray fairy. I just feel like there's so much more. Well, no, there's a couple of bubbled ones that, that were in previous rooms that I couldn't get earlier because I didn't have the bone arrow. Here, I'll show you in a bit. That definitely unlocked one. That chest has a stray fairy in it. And then I'm gonna come back down. And I'm gonna go into this room. And get the stray fairies I missed there. And then after I grab this, I'm gonna check and make sure I got all of them in this room. That might be all of them in this room. That is all of them in this room. Okay, good. Let's go down. Hopefully there aren't too many in this room over here. For much of what we're going for now is just cleaning up the stray fairies, making sure I have all of them. I know, oh wow, all the water's purified. I, I really didn't know that happened. I, I saw it happen with that one room. Okay, cool. Well then, I don't really need to skip across the water then, do I? Actually, we can just swim for this. See, I was going to come back with the bow and arrow and get that, because you need the arrows to actually put to, uh, penetrate, penetrate, though, <laughs> to penetrate those so you can actually get them. Because, yeah, every now and then you have fairies stuck in bubbles, and you have to shoot an arrow at them to actually break the bubbles so you can 
collect the fairy. Because, like, if you try to use the great fairy mask to summon them, they won't come to you if they're in the bu bubble. You have to get them out of the bubble to actually have them come to you. And, uh, shit, it's, gonna, it's a shitty situation here, isn't it? I have to push that block, don't I? God damn it. I don't want to push that stupid block. I'm sick of it. So much hassle just to get around this room. I hate this room. Like I was saying, this is the worst room in the dungeon. In case you missed it, I died here when the water is poisonous. If you want to see that, you can watch a couple episodes back. Uh, my fairy mask was telling me that there is another stray fairy in here, so maybe it's up top because I can't think of anywhere else. Maybe another hive? Maybe a bit. I shot this hive down earlier, though. And there wasn't anything in it. There were bees in that hive. I'm not shooting that shit down, but I just did. So, fuck. <laughs> and they're gonna come for me, too. Damn it. Just, just slice these things down. Come on, get these pots. That might be what we're going for. Oh, wow. You can't kill those. I didn't think you could. Okay. Well, where the hell are my stray fairies? Are there more? Let's check for more hives. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. This sucks. I'm making an utter fool of myself, is what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna need to end the episode soon, so we're about to stop. Um, I just wanna get the stray fairy. I promise I'll stop after I, I get this stupid stray fairy. Damn it, and I didn't mean to do that either. I was trying to look up. That's kind of an annoying thing about playing this with the game controller, is that uh, to actually use your. Um, blah, 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 blah. Your first person mode, you have to hit up on the C stick, and sometimes you accidentally use one of your C items. So that might happen quite a bit every now and then, so accidentally use a C item when I mean to look up. I can't think of where this thing could possibly be. I know I killed the Skoshula. And yeah, that does give you strafe, but I've killed that thing numerous times. And I'm apparently really bad at aiming. I'll kill it just because. Shit. I mean, it has to be, like, kept in something, you know? It's not just floating out there, otherwise it'd come to me. So those pots don't have it. But then again, no, there's another, there, I just saw another hive. That might have it. That should have it. It better have it. Otherwise I'm gonna be pissed. See, these things are hidden pretty well. So, we gotta keep an eye out for these. The hives are the... are the selling point for your stray fairy hunting. That should take care of this room. Okay, I'm gonna check the dark room. I doubt there's any more there. If there aren't, I'm just gonna move on and try to get this fucking place done. I did say I was gonna end the episode soon, wasn't I? Okay, well, I'm just making sure. I'm pretty sure there aren't any in here. Yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna go back to the middle room where that big flower, that big spinning flower is. And uh, I will see you next time on Let's Play Majora's Mask, where we will hopefully, maybe, finish the Woodfall Temple. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Michael 2 and 7 signing out.